Hello. Hello and welcome back to episode 30. 30? 30, yeah. Jesus, I know people 30. Are, I know people that freak out when they're 30. Well, we're not 30. Yet, <laughs> Thankfully, so. we're not 30, but we're on episode 30. Seven years to go. Which means we're more than halfway through a year's worth. Because if a year's worth would be 52, then half of 52 is 27? Yeah. 21.5? Sorry, guys, we're not mathematicians here. But anyway. Was that your phone? Yeah, that was my phone. We are more than halfway through our... Well, we're Actually, not. Actually, no, because we don't, because we don't have an end. end. We're never going to have an end. <laughs> so, I mean, 30 is just a strong number. Because remember the days when we were like, episode 8? Fuck now. Imagine when we hit 100. I wonder when that'll be. Yeah. It'd be like, did I say this before? You know the now yeah. 27 or whatever. <laughs> now 27. And I'd be like, oh my God. Wonder when it's going to be now 200. I don't know what's on now. Do they still even do them? Maybe it's on Spotify. Uh, who knows? Yeah, it's probably Spotify. But we always bring up that. Um, it's like, guys, it's the, we're recording on the 15th of February at 4 p.m. Day after Valentine's. The day after Valentine's. So we hope everyone had a beautiful Valentine's, Valentine's, self love, partner love day. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I did. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not joking because I actually did. But, yeah, it was such a nice day. It was just chill. It was a nice Tuesday. Mine was no different to any other normal day. I just got to go for dinner at my boyfriend midweek. It just unheard of. <laughs> if it took the time That's off. unheard of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's four o'clock day, so I actually genuinely do feel a bit sleepy. Okay. But I woke up feeling sleepy today, so. I feel tired. Probably because I didn't there. train this today. I took a rest day, which yeah. is a big deal for me, guys. Yeah, and I ate avocado on toast, which is also a big deal for me. Woo. Because I thought I hated avocados before. But anyway, that's probably something I'll talk about one day on this, this, on this is podcast. Space. This lighthearted space, which is not lighthearted. But anyway, Jesus. we will <laughs> we will get over that bit for a minute. But anyway, so um, as much Shane, oh, me and Orna went to the beach on mm. the weekend. So if you are watching on YouTube, don't do we look a bit more tan? Yeah, D- we don't do. we? We do. I'm actually burnt on my chest still, and it's still kind of red. Yeah, we actually and it's, do. it's starting to blister, so I was in the gym today. And I was like, great, my sunburn's not going to blister like last time, but it just happens after like four days. Yeah, so when I sweat was, goes under the skin. Yeah, but I've been sweating like yeah. each day since, yeah, and it's just like, it's, it's like after four days, it starts uh. to blister. So I was sweating, and it went under, starts to blister. I was like, right, it's going to peel now. Great. Back in hell. I'll be going back later for cardio. So yeah. <laughs> but we can see ourselves in the viewfinder. So we're like, ooh, I'm looking a bit tan. Yeah, I can't fully see my face or anything, but I can. Come. I can see you. But we also recorded a week, spend the week with us, mm. where we have a um, spend the week with us, where we recorded from Saturday to Saturday, just three days. But anyway, it's only 20 minutes long. It's up on YouTube. Go watch it after this, after you listen to this. And it's uh, just like what we, it looks mundane to us, but probably to like people that don't live here, it's like cool, like the traffic and the cows and I dogs. Watched only, I watched I watched a little bit about my break there. I, I watched Up Until You're Making Your Breakfast. Oh yeah, did you like it? Yeah, it's cute. Well, there's some, a lot more of me in it, guys, because I, and I'm joking, <laughs> because um, I do like the YouTube editing and Orna records a lot of her days on TikTok. I didn't, yeah, I didn't record anything. So, you um, reminded me, but I completely forgot. Yeah, she records a lot more of her days on TikTok. Um, so I, we're both in the vlog and like every, like it's not just one, one of the no, days is my yeah, day. Like we're yeah. both in it the whole time, but yeah. I'm in it a little bit more. I mean, what's the, what's the problem there? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But yeah, so go check, check that out, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Get the algorithm on. Like every beauty and, influencer ever but yeah so what did you do for valentine's day did you say that already no i didn't say what i did i, I can go into detail if you <laughs> what want did you do? i um woke up to a beautiful present which my boyfriend tried to convince me that was meltable when it was actually a pair of shoes but anyway um he's like i need to put it in the fridge because it'll melt and i was like okay yeah when he had it all wrapped up and then the next day he gave it to me and it was shoes and i was like Okay, that everyone else, but loved them. Then I came home to a box, a hat box of roses. So sweet. And Not then. Not the sweets, the actual flowers. Oh yeah, the flowers. <laughs> and then I got him a cake that was really cute. Yeah, that was so that said, sweet. um, let's eat this cake and have sex. 
or let's have let's eat this cake then have sex. I don't know, I can't remember. Um Sorry, which relates to our topic today, guys, for our diving deep, but we'll get on to that soon. And then we went for dinner, which okay, beautiful. I'm so grateful to spend time with my boyfriend midweek, like you said. Get to go out for food, had the luxury to go out, but the food was not good, guys. No. I'm not going to name Shane the restaurant because I think it deserves... It was the, the Valentine's menu it was just wasn't... the Valentine's special menu. The Valentine's special menu, honestly, was... Not special. Far, far <laughs> from special. It was especially horrific, to be honest. <laughs> but honestly, oh, well... Did you get started? Yeah, it was just all just what like... Was it just went from mediocre to worse. I got like sourdough bread. What did your boyfriend think? He was just like... I will never be going back here again. And then we were like in a home today, like randomly at like a two o'clock in the day. And he's like in the bedroom. I just heard him like that food yesterday was shite. That was, <laughs> that was the first time <laughs> I heard him admit to it. <laughs> I think because he booked it, he didn't want to like give in to oh, the, I, mean, I would have not been complaining. No, I, I didn't. I didn't. I was like, babe, it. I'm so grateful that you brought me away. I was like, I, nothing to you. I just didn't like the food. And he was like, no, I know it was, it wasn't great. And then, <laughs> this afternoon he just like <laughs> ran to me it was like that thing was shite oh, I was funny. like oh, but at least we have another dinner on Saturday so it's fun yeah Benny what did you get up to I just went for dinner to this new restaurant called Billy Ho Billy Ho yeah Billy Ho Billy uh, Go well it's actually not new but it used to be open but anyways yeah uh, lovely lovely set in everything portion size but small yeah like I ordered sushi right me looking on the website thinking it was going to be eight rolls of sushi like the usual I was like, you know, that'll be grand. Dad was like, are you sure that's all you want? I got sushi and then, what else? This like chicken thing. Karaji or something. Yeah, I think so. Is that what I think that's It's in like um, breadcrumbs or something? No. Oh. Uh, anyway, and then, was that, that was literally it. I was, I <laughs> wonder how much started up today. <laughs> and then he ordered some stuff. And then anyway, the sushi came in and it was three pieces. Fuck. And I was yeah. like, but the taste was Beck and gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Like you need to go there and order a lot. I like those restaurants when they have small portions when you order a lot. So yeah, like, I don't like ordering. Order I can't remember the last time I went to a restaurant. But the menu was so confusing. It was like, like I'd never heard of half in my life. I'd just be randomly picking one. No, the menu for our restaurant was so confusing. Oh my God. No, mine was worse. <laughs> no, mine was worse. No, I'm joking. But I do like those restaurants where, yeah. like, I can't remember the last time I went into a restaurant and ordered like a full meal to myself. Like we've always gone like, and like ordered air shelter and all. ordered yeah, small bits yeah. and shared mm-hmm. because I have FOMO when I see someone else's plate. I'm like, oh, I wish I got that. So I love like ordering small bits and like sharing. You know, I always get the same food. Me and my boyfriend. He actually always copies my order too. Oh, got good taste. Mm. Clearly, if you had for him, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know why we share that useless information with you guys, but. <laughs> We hope it brings Just you some you sort of into some Valentine's some thing. sort of uh, entertainment. In purpose. case you ever go there, entertainment. Don't. Yes. Yes. It may be in case. In my case, do. Yeah, honestly, guys, fucking hell, I will not be recommending that to any of my my Bali friends. Okay, give, it, give it a review on TripAdvisor. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, no, that's mean. But anyway, we will get into <gasps> our first segment, which is sex related. So, so dad, dad, just disclaimer, dad, if you're watching, which I, you definitely are, so hi. Please skip forward to the next segment. How will you know? Well, how will you know? When I'll text is? you. I'll text you, Dad. The, <laughs> the timestamp to skip to when you listen to this podcast because this is not for your gentle, innocent <laughs> <laughs> ears. Please, okay? Anyway, Mom, I guess you can watch it if you want. Okay. <laughs> so. I don't even think Mom watched the podcast. No. Dad's the real fan. Uh, the real the real MVP. But anyway, so we'll get into our first segment, which is Diving Deep. Cue the scuba. Oh, God. <laughs> Durian. <laughs> um, so this week, me and Orna have been having this conversation between ourselves. Yeah. Like just more, because we're obviously older now and we're on parallel journeys. <laughs> <laughs> now we both have boyfriends, so it's about relatable. Yeah. I'm like... I feel like it's not just talked about. Talk, just yeah. girl talk about. Yeah, basically. And I don't think it's talked about enough. Well, like, we don't like, know because we don't have friends. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but it's not talked about, like, yeah, enough, true. maybe. Like, I've talked to other people around it and they're like, oh my God. Especially yeah. if you're out of the honeymoon phase. Same. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of like, yeah, when you're out of the honeymoon phase. Out of the honeymoon phase, yeah. But basically, the question I asked was, you're having sex. It's happening in the morning. Or the night. 
So, what do you think the results were? So you probably have seen it. No, I actually promise I didn't. Do you look at my homework? Um, if gonna, it's men night time, and if the man, man is in control, sorry, if it's men morning, and if they're in control of like when the female or whatever the other person, other person in the relationship, not just female, but probably morning wins. No, morning didn't win. Night time won. But like, it, was, it doesn't mean, just because you prefer it doesn't mean you're going to get it in the night. It was 61% said nighttime all the way and 39% said morning. So 225 people said nighttime. And 141 people said Yeah, but that, morning. that doesn't mean, that means they prefer it doesn't mean they're actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't, I just want to know what oh, the preference what prefer, was. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like whatever. So people said they're having, more people are having sex in the nighttime. Like, well, I'm that's too, what you think of when you're I'm too wrecked. <laughs> isn't it? That's what you think when, like, obviously you don't. Yeah, when it goes movies, they go, like, yeah, nighttime. on a date, and then it's like, you want to come up to, they walk them home, and it's like, you want to come up to mine, and then they go upstairs and they have sex in the nighttime. But I did leave a questions box underneath that poll for people to give feedback, and I got, we got a lot of feedback. Did we? A lot. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what they said. But... My preference is neither. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I don't like either, to be honest. I'm more of a mid, I'm more of an in-between. I'm more of a when I feel it. Yeah, that's true. But for energy level wise, like in the morning, I like to do my own. I, if anyone gets in my morning yeah, routine. Yeah, I don't I'll like be, my morning routine being fucked up. I want to get up, <laughs> go to the annoyed. gym. I want to do my meditation. I want to read my book. I want to yeah. have my tea on the couch. Like it just kind of gets in the way and yeah. it fucks up my time routine a little bit. And like that's something I'm kind of And I'm still like with. just like waking up and a bit groggy and sleepy. I'm not going to be going for like a fucking cardio workout. Like <laughs> first thing, you know. Even though you'll go on a run. <laughs> even though I'll go on a 5k run at 6am, no worries. I just like, you know. <laughs> just don't invade my space just, in the morning, yeah. please. Um, and then nighttime, like I just get so wrecked. Like I'm, I'm literally half nine. I, I mean, my boyfriend sleep at half nine. Like lights are out. 9 30 p.m yeah sometimes you don't watch it like, so oh, <laughs> like i'm winding down from about seven I've, i'm taking my melatonin gummies at about 8 30 like my dinner's finished and we eat our dinner at like six ish so after dinner's eating it's just game over because my belly's already big and hard and swollen and bloated from eating i'm like i'm not feeling any way sexy Mm. with his belly out mm -hmm. so that's why like mid-afternoon like i actually google this so early maybe we're speaking about this and it was like the optimal time is around like 3 p.m yeah because to be precise guys because men you want a time crappy. like if you want to be yeah precise yeah. men's mm -hmm. testosterone levels is highest in, in the, the morning. morning yeah and women's apparently morning <laughs> yeah morning wood women's apparently is highest around like 6 p.m or like in the evening i'm like Am I not a woman then? Because I don't know really what the know, fuck. To be I think I so. Obviously, if he's body. come, like if he's come, if he's come, no, if he's <laughs> if he's go to a what do they call that? Like a yeah. meet in the middle compromise and use happy mid, medium mid and day midday is better. But also for women, it's very dependent on your cycle. Obviously, like come up to ovulation, your sex hormones are higher, your libido is higher because mm. it's your body's like organic nature to try and make you pregnant around that time. You know what I mean? You're giving off your pheromones in the top of your head. Men have pheromones from the top of your well. head. Yeah, they're in your scalp. I think. And again, my boyfriend just hurts smelling his scalp. <laughs> I think men have pheromones. Yeah, yeah, but obviously women get like when women are on ovulation or coming up to ovulation, they start giving off the pheromones, and like they start feeling more sexy in themselves yeah. because they're trying to give like attract a partner because their body's they're trying to get it. them pregnant. Yeah, yeah, we're animals at nature. I think we always forget that because. We think we're, we're prime. We think we're too good for that. <laughs> we think we're way past that stage, but like, I'd honestly still be digging up dirt and sniffing <laughs> grass if I could. <laughs> I'd still be pissing it. <laughs> you know, I actually do sometimes. <laughs> now, me and I used to, when we go to the Phoenix Park, I'm totally exposing oh, us God. right now. <laughs> we used to take a nature In lockdown. A nature lockdown. pee. A nature, a nature pee. pee. A wilder pee. A wilder pee. But, um, yeah, so, and then obviously when you're like, Come up to your period, you're like, oh, get away from me. No one fucking touch me. I'll yeah. bite your hand off. Which your hormones should be actually balanced where you shouldn't have that much PMS. But anyway, maybe we should get an expert on talking about We don't really shit. know about much a lot of it. But anyway, look at all these look at all these replies. Jesus, fair play. Yeah, fair play. Okay, people said both. Someone said depends if you know the person well or not. 
True. Someone said the fastest turn off is a morning breath. Boy, go Ew, wash I yourself. Agree. I agree. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Someone else said, get your morning breath out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I, I have you, you, you. I we have grown up watching those movies where like the the couple of like they're sleeping and the girl like sneaks out of the bed and like that's goes and puts like makeup on and, and brushes her teeth and stuff yeah. and then gets back into bed I'm like morning yeah. and the guy's like well you're so beautiful in the morning she got like a fresh bread she's like yeah I know I'm just perfect human but um not reality you're like <sighs> Ew, yeah. the face I, I, I hate morning breath one of the first things I do is get up and brush my teeth yeah same even before my coffee Someone said both. Someone said, "Can you choose both?" No. Someone else said, "Can't be dealing with no. Can't be dealing with morning breath." <laughs> morning breath's a real thing, guys. <laughs> morning breath. I don't know why. I guess if you're a mouth breather, it probably stinks even more. I think I breathe through my nose. Well, you can because my mouth isn't dry open when I wake up or dry. Yeah, I think it depends on my type of sleep again. Someone said both. Someone said both in capital letters. Someone said actually more midday. Someone said nighttime to get a great night's sleep. True. Both both. Someone said I'll take any time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Lunchtime. Yes. Yeah, so Someone said out. anytime, but mostly on the night or random places. Well, we didn't ask where. <laughs> okay. This was some location when my girl get it. Uh, Morning to set up your day like a champ. <laughs> yeah, if you're male, maybe. <laughs> If anything, would it not? Someone would said. Reduce your testosterone? Someone said 4 p.m. always. But if you reduce your testosterone. Well, I know because I go to a fight gym that fighters won't have sex before, before a sparring day, or some won't have sex two weeks to a month before their fight because they're trying to get the testosterone levels real high. You know, like a bull. Yeah. Fuck like if their testosterone's real high, they'll be like angry and ready to punch on with someone, and that's how you want to be in a fight because you want to be like. But then I heard that's a myth. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's placebo effect either. Yeah. Joe Dispenza. Yeah. Um. Someone said 4 p.m. always. I mean, if that's your time, that's your time. Yeah. And someone else said sporadic times during the day, but never bedtime. So we got a lot of boats. I just think when you feel it, isn't it? Or like when a lot of midday. When you're both available. And I also, yeah, I also I could definitely agree. It's when you feel it, like. Yeah. I, and I also said this to Orna. I don't have to like, be like, right. 3.30. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Come on. Like, it's my you know schedule. What I mean? But I also said to Orna as well, like, um. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I was going to say to Orna. I had to think about it. Um. When you want to have sex with your partner, it's not like you don't just like it doesn't just well it can just come up on you like hormonally, but I feel like it it it's determined like by the minute you wake up. Like if they're on like they're not giving you attention, you're just both going your separate ways, and you're not having any, yeah, like, you feel kind of disconnected. Touchy, yeah, disconnected. Then you're not really feeling like I'm gonna have sex. With I you, agree you know? completely. But if you're waking up and you like going for breakfast together, or you're just like waking up like morning and like lots of affection, lots of affection or just like yeah, like connection. Then obviously you're more like, hmm, thinking about them and, you know. Mm. And then obviously distance, like if you're about away from each other for a while, and then it doesn't matter what time of the day we see each other, you're going to be on, like. <laughs> you're a cell bunny. Dad, please, please, if you're still watching that, turn off this podcast. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but um, I think that was a really we'll interesting. <laughs> yeah, like, man, you need to. <gasps> block the ip i actually just block the ip address in this <laughs> but like yeah. that was a really interactive one a really interesting one and like we said i don't think it's talked about enough like yeah it's just so open why is it so hush hush like yeah why is it so like taboo it's such a natural, like, like how, how the fuck do you think we're here then hey yeah and like it's it's mad that like the things that so come naturally to us are most like oh my god like farting <laughs> shit and having sex and why are like yeah like periods like when you're a kid now you're like oh I'm so embarrassed and like I cried when I got one yeah like why are all the most natural things that come I to know. us the most like hush hush not talk to yeah, about things no, you know, know what I mean yeah, yeah. and like big, even I mean, the fact that like the same girls like this is another topic that maybe we'll cover in depth next like in one of the podcasts soon enough is like girls like libido isn't as high as well not all girls but like most, a lot of girls are like I've talked to and stuff. Uh, like n- their libido is not as high as men's, and like you feel like under pressure to kind of like perform for your man when you're just not feeling it, and they are, and like you know it's all con- as well due to hormones. But like having 
sex and stuff like how many times a week if you're if you're see that your friend's having it five times a week and you're only doing it once or twice you're like what's wrong with me and my boyfriend like are we not as mm, you start complaining like, and then you're yeah. like oh shit here we go are we going we're we going down that route are we yeah like are we being the old married couple that like t- put their retainers in and then turn back to back and turn the light off and that's it like do you know what i mean oh, like, like the 40 year olds couples you see yeah. there is a lot of that that area of life and mm. natural causes and shit that's just not talked about enough so we're here to bring it to light no i'm yeah. joking <laughs> but we're here to talk about the stuff that maybe people don't talk about enough and then again when you realize your friends like well i only do it this many times a week or like yeah i don't feel like that all yeah. the time either you're like you feel oh my more God, same at home yeah you feel more relatable normal. and like yeah thank fuck i thought it was just me mm-hmm. like do you know what mm-hmm. i mean it's like, it's like does your vagina smell too <laughs> <laughs> no Please cop that out. <laughs> you cannot leave that in. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> I don't think anything goes as far as Molly May sucking her own nipples for Westville. That's pretty normal, I think. <laughs> hey, did, you, did you watch that? Yeah, it was so funny. She's so real though, isn't she? Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, you just <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you gonna crop it? No! Crop it, you weirdo. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> when you talk more, so we're just laughing about something. <laughs> Maybe laugh so bad. <laughs> when I said I can't clean the podcast, so sorry. Yeah. Well, when um, you you feel more relatable, you feel like okay, maybe there's nothing wrong with me, and yeah, you're feel like thank God it's and not just me. You want to be able me. to have open conversations, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, why are things taboo, yeah. especially when it's only talked about? It's not like you're getting it out in front of people or like <laughs> you know what I mean and showing them. It's yeah, only yeah, just yeah, talked yeah, about. Exactly, yeah. But anyway, thank you for everyone for interacting. Your votes mean the most to us, and we're really <laughs> happy. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> we will. <laughs> there will be kitty at four o'clock in the afternoon. We're polls. gonna have weekly sex polls. <laughs> like the one I sent you. <laughs> what was it? Oh, yeah. Anal? No. <laughs> and we're gonna have weekly polls as usual. So get voting, guys. <laughs> Vote for your president. <laughs> anyway, well, next segment we will get into is. Stuck in the mud. Woohoo! <laughs> um, I will read Stuck in the Mud out. So, we, we feel a bit delirious because it's late. It's half four in the evening. <laughs> I'm winding down for bed. <laughs> okay, guys. Half four in the My night. window of sex has gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Whoa. well, this one is <laughs> My Dream Holiday Cancelled. Stuck in the mud. Okay. So, someone wrote in and said, I booked a holiday for July 2023 for the Maldives with my significant other in September last year, as we got a good deal and it's been my dream for forever to go. Since Christmas, we haven't been getting along and there's been a lot of red flag-ish, in quote marks, behavior, and I'm at breaking point where I can't put up with it for much longer, especially not until July. Okay. Yeah. Fuck that, yeah. No, no holidays way. worth that. Even though the Molly is fucking dream. Yeah. And if you got it on a good deal, that's even better. My my boy <laughs> My boyfriend was meant to go to somewhere like that, Maldives, Tahiti, with his ex ex girlfriend. And they had it booked together, paid for everything he like bought. Well, don't give it. out too much information because this is what this could be useful <laughs> to the advice. So guys, we'll just get on with the question or not. You can bring that story up in two keep minutes. Keep that, keep that. Keep that advice. Don't yeah. spoil it now. <laughs> <laughs> um oh especially she can't put up with it much longer especially until july i've been planning the breakup for a while in my head oh, Lord. and going over and over it but this holiday with, with this holiday makes it much more complicated so she's probably there curating it really wants- okay i'm gonna storm out but I'm then gonna shut the door in his face her pinterest outfits for the maldives <laughs> keep coming back in <laughs> yeah every, honestly the saved every the second. maldives um hashtag that she's following instagram keeps going up in the feed <laughs> and she's like maybe not 
I was like, no. I still want to go, but I know he will too, which makes things awkward. Yeah, because imagine you're on the boat in the same flight. flight. (laughs) He's in aisle A and you're in aisle B and you're both there. He's he's sky chatting you on the screen in front of you. (laughs) Please take me back. Um, Which makes things awkward. Yeah, because you don't want to go with your ex and then you don't want to be there at the same time but be in separate rooms and yeah, fuck that. And we've both already paid off majority of the holiday. Fuck. Yeah, annoying. And especially if you got it on a good deal. But Don't forget yeah. the good deal she mm-hmm. got. Mm-hmm. After the breakup, how do I suggest that he gives me the holiday <laughs> and I go alone? Of course, I will be paying him back for his share. Or do I just give up on this dream holiday? No. No, no, we don't give, Some up, give up on your dreams. I won't give up. <laughs> I won't give up. Um, the us. He's yeah. probably singing that song and she's singing just <laughs> yeah. the mouthpiece. But anyway, um, and so she said, do I, how do I suggest that he gives the holiday to me and I go well, alone? Well, just say, look, I'm, She pay him back or else does she just give up? Say, look, I'm going here, right? <laughs> so I'm buying you out this holiday. Well, I think it depends on how it's he like takes the breakup. And you, you get a divorce or something. Like, yeah, I, I think it depends on how he takes the breakup, like, you know, he could make her life be offered and be like, I'm bombing his back. <laughs> Are we going to get banned for this? I would Put just... scissors in his bag. <laughs> Put his scissors in his bag. Not and a real bomb, bomb, by the way, when I say it, like a fake one. Like a bath bomb. <laughs> Put a scissors in his bag with a note on what he intends to use that to this And then he's and then, gone at security. And then note. dob him in, ring up security, take out I got info. There's a guy in the play with scissors and a note of the instructions to use it. To use it. And say that he'll be left at security and you'll be on the holiday. Honestly, ground. you'll be like just waving. Problem them. solved. Sorry, don't know what happened. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, tell us story about your ex boyfriend. Um, Tahiti. He was mine too. 2019. <laughs> no, like in 2016. Okay, whatever. I was still in. <laughs> He was 26. He was on his way to Tahiti and you were just doing TY. <laughs> I was on TY, yeah. Literally. Anyway, um, he was meant to go to Tahiti with his girlfriend. They had to pay for it and all. I think he just bought her out of it. And yeah, that like, that's what that this girl's trying to she do. She was like, yeah, fuck it. Okay. But like, if the guy is a chill guy and he'd be like, right, like, you just go on your own, I'll go to Magaluf with the boys. She's like, but if he's going to make her life difficult in the breakup and he's like, no, I'm still going, it's like, I would just book well, a I different like, day. Why, can you just book a different hotel then? No, I would, cause then you're going to, the, the Maldives is very small. Is it? You're going to see them on the thing. Imagine you're in the restaurant, he's in the restaurant. I would just, maybe like, even before you do anything, Pre call up the uh, travel agent <laughs> and try reorganize something with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah, yeah. yeah and that, then yeah. like try to see if like it's available to. I'm me. sure that because then he like still gets them. to go, and then you still get to go. And if you're willing to buy him out, then you might be. If you have the money to buy him out, then maybe you have the money to pay a little bit extra to move your flights or something. And I'd say to him, fine, if you aren't. If you want to go at the same time, I'm moving my dates then, so you'll be on your own. Yeah. And then he might be like, actually, I don't want to go. Yeah, exactly. He might just be wanting to keep Annoy it. You. Keep it going so yeah, that, like, you're enough. forced to go with them or something, you know? But I wouldn't definitely give up in the dream. Like, mm. I would just, yeah, like, try and move the dates. Because there's, there's, like, always a solution. And if that doesn't work, you know. If that doesn't work, bath, beep. <laughs> Scissors with a note. Bath scissors. <laughs> Bath scissors. In you the know bag. What, you know what to on do. On the way out of the break up. There, there we go. But yeah. No, in all seriousness, just ring the travel agent up first and see what options they can yeah, do either. Exactly. Um, they're, they're, they've probably, probably heard this yeah, loads of times. Yeah. Like probably their probably like field honey, of expertise. Honeymoon. Although I wouldn't really want to go on my honeymoon. It's like in Sex and the City, they still go on the honeymoon. Yeah, a lot of movies and stuff do that. They go Maybe look gals. up movies. They go with the gals. Get a bit oh, if you had a friend fun. as well, that'd be really good that you could go with. Yeah, she said she doesn't mind going alone. It's just she doesn't want to yeah. go the same time as him. Sorry. Is, Is that, that a train? That's oh, a helicopter. It's not a train station. Anyway. 
Um, but yeah, I hope that works out. It's an awkward situation to be in, but it happens all the time. Mm. So your travel agent will have the best advice. Yeah. Don't ask us. Ask travel ask agent. Travel <laughs> agent. Ask Cassidy Travel. And Cassidy Travel will get you covered. Yeah. We'll move on to our next, next segment, 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 which, which is, is red flags. Red flag repellent. Right, okay. <clears throat> Subject. My boyfriend's hiding me. Uh-oh. Is this girl okay? <laughs> <laughs> She's hostage somewhere yeah. in the basement. <laughs> Me and my BF have been together one year and he still never posted me on his Insta. When I post stories and tag him, he doesn't even reshare it. At first I thought nothing of it, but one year in and he's still not even reposted it. I've... Sorry, what? That same picture, <laughs> that same picture she posted is one year and he's still not reposted it. She gave him a good time limit to do it and he's still not done it. I've brought it up a few times and he says he doesn't... He doesn't up Instagram. What did I? He doesn't use we? maybe. He doesn't use Instagram. He doesn't use Instagram. He doesn't yeah. use Instagram. As in quotation marks. Oh yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't use Instagram, Instagram as serious as I do. But I see him scrolling all the time and texting, etc. Even for Valentine's, he didn't post me. Okay. So this is should just I be in- concerned? Or just take him literally when he says he doesn't take Instagram as serious as me or most people. Um, he doesn't use Instagram. I mean, like so if you can see that he doesn't use it. Like, how many posts does he have on his page? Like, if he's posting like every time he goes out on a Saturday night with the boys, or like goes out and like you know post pictures. Like, if he's actively posting on Instagram, like my boyfriend has Instagram, messages people. A lot of people's stories, but really has either. three posts, one a year, the last three years. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, when he doesn't post me, I'm not, like, I don't care. But, like, he does repost my stories and stuff, so I guess. But when, but if he's, like, actively posting, like, every Saturday with the boys, or, like, actively posts on his story, and, but still hasn't reposted one of you, or. Or has posted, like, at a festival with the boys. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, you could delve a little bit deeper in here and be, like, do you have any other reason not to trust him? Yeah, that's you know true. what I mean. Like, is he liking girls' pictures? This is just funny. Like, like dad, if you're watching now, it's okay. Like, I'm <laughs> sure you're probably like this fucking Instagram bullshit. Like, yeah. something that yeah, and like another new thing that you have to worry about in a relationship. Just the yeah, ads. Just like, what's another spanner in the works? Yeah, like, just another spanner in the works. If are they post me on their Instagram? Um, I sometimes post pictures with my boyfriend, and he doesn't repost them. As in, I'm on a story, but like, I swear to God, he posts a story like. Yeah, I've never seen him post a story. Yeah, like <laughs> once honest. or twice a year. But didn't even ask him any, and I'm on his Instagram. So, I mean. Oh, you're on his. He posts a picture. He posts a post. But this is not about you. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to <laughs> I'm joking. But, like, but, like I, I don't think know. it depends how actively he, he uses use it. it. If yeah. he posts some stories and reposts some stories and posts some reels and all shit, and he never reposts a story that you tagged him, tag him in, yeah. then maybe, yeah, that's a bit hurtful. It is, yeah. And, like, if he is posting every weekend with the boys and posting, like, his new trophy that he won in football or box whatever, and he's not still not posting you, like, are you not the achievement trophy too? Yeah. So that would be hurtful. But, like Orna said, maybe delve deeper and, like, if he's giving you other... Is he giving you other reasons not to trust him? Not to him? trust him. Like, when he's texting or, like, scrolling, is he liking girls' pictures that, like, maybe are not, inappropri- are not appropriate? Or is he turning his phone away when he's texting, like... A lot of, yeah, a lot of men don't use Instagram as much as we do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, don't take it serious. They use Instagram and stuff like that. But I wouldn't take it too personally unless there's other stuff going on that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know the frequency of his posting as well. We yeah, don't yeah. Know I would give him post. and the frequency of his follower account going up and down. No, no don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That was one that was on last week, wasn't it? Or the week before. But, yeah, I would, oh, yeah, I would, so um, true. see. Like, what, like you said, how serious he takes Instagram. Like, if he just has it, like, has a hundred followers, his mom, his granny. Yeah, or like 600 and he's on private. Like, he clearly doesn't give a shit about Instagram. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of the time, men. Like, I think I joked with my boyfriend once, half joke, half serious. Um, he didn't like repost the story. I talked to him, I didn't care. And I was like, I, he liked it. And then I comes back and I'm like, right, yeah, don't repost it or something. Like, yeah. joking, he was with me in the room and he was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, like he didn't. Sometimes some of them don't even know how to yeah, repost. Like, he's that old. He's just, <laughs> no, honestly. 
<laughs> yeah. No, seriously, like, no, babe, it's, I just don't think it's a big deal. We don't know, but if there's no other issues going on there, just it wouldn't even cross my mind. Like, yeah, like I would just like give him the benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. But if you're getting any other gut feelings or suspicions, then I would say he is hiding you. But I don't think yeah. he's delib right now. From what you sent in, it doesn't sound like he's deliberately hiding. Yeah, exactly, you. exactly. Yeah, man. Back social media in this. Yeah, social media. Honestly, sometimes day and age, the best like, thing in a curse. Yeah, it is. I do like a really good like yoga practice or like a meditation. Then I feel so calm. And I go on Instagram, just like not that like yeah. it erupts anything Acting. in me like that. I'm, but I'm like, God, if I didn't see that, like I probably would have went by my day better off not knowing that like just random shit yeah, like or yeah, like, like what you sent me today in the gym i was like oh just thinking about that yeah jesus or like sometimes like you might come see something that you and then it triggers something and you're like oh her legs are fab now i don't actually really like my legs like i never even was concerned about my legs about two, until about two seconds you ago see someone putting up like okay so it's 12 already in the afternoon i've done two twenty thousand <laughs> steps Two hours of yoga. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, like, it does give, it does, not even sometimes, it does cause problems between couples that, like, you would, would never be there if social media wasn't. Although, you know? if it's the person, like, doing stuff that's disrespectful, then I guess it would be in another way if the boys yeah, they were, like, the in a pub other cheating. half is gonna yeah. be disrespectful. Which you know, like, sometimes you might but see, yeah, like, no, a girl in your boyfriend's DMs and it's genuine, like, a friend they went to school with or, like, their cousin and, but you see the, and you see the name, you're like, then it kind of just plants a little seed that you're like, wait, does he have a girl in his DMs? You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, it's his cousin or something. And I would never even think that my boyfriend would cheat on me. But sometimes I'd be like, hang on. You just get like these kind of random thoughts in your head. And like, you're like, where the fuck's that come from? But obviously then again, it probably comes from how you're secure you feel in yourself at that time. So if you're on your period, you're like not feeling like you have these dark, dark thoughts and you're like, think the world's against you and stuff and then mm. like next week you'd see and you're in a high vibration good mood and, and that like, you wouldn't even bother yeah, you You'd be like lol yeah, like yeah. cute so cousin true. or something you know yeah so it depends on yourself too that's what i had a real up on the um sorry when about, you see your boyfriend kissing a girl like when you're on your period you oh, might sorry. care <laughs> like, that's my fault when you're off it you might just be like Fuck it, <laughs> whatever <laughs> yeah no there obviously is a border and a, a boundary and a line that like, to yeah, be crossed but fuck men let's just say that no <laughs> <laughs> I just can't let one out. <laughs> Shit off. <laughs> Fuck men on this podcast. Fuck the social media. No, I'm joking. But anyway, um, thanks for sending that one in. Yeah. Appreciate it. Are you on your period? <laughs> <laughs> Day or night? <laughs> Day or night? How many times a day? <laughs> okay. Oh, but anyway, <clears throat> and then lastly, we'll get into Orna's favorite segment. <laughs> My favorite. Beauty in the mundane. You go first. <laughs> I'm joking. What did we um, do? Let me just, let me just backtrack. I mean, yesterday was just a day of full gratitude. Yeah. Because it was just like, such a night. I like, I got gifts. Uh, <laughs> so it's hard not to be grateful. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. But um, I was doing a check-in with my coach. <gasps> I have one. Okay. Sorry. We'll, we'll pause game, okay? Because I'm going first. You said I'd go first. Okay. Um, we'll check in with my coach and she was saying like, what went well this week? And like, some and questions. I said nothing. <laughs> yeah, she said, what went well this week? And what self-care things you do this week? And like, I was able to answer like the what went well one like a lot, yeah. like a lot of paragraphs because like my life just seems to come really well right now. And like, that actually gives me a bit of anxiety sometimes you say that because you're like, mm. it could all come crumbling down. Yeah. But I mean, it's just like, I've really changed my mindset lately. Um, well. but I'm really good book that I recommended by Orna. Thank you. Supernatural by Joe Dispenza. Yeah. We started a book club together. Mm-hmm. But if also, if anyone wants to join it, I'm weird. How cool would that be? Yeah, that's cool. If anyone wants to join it, please tell <gasps> us that you're reading that, that book. Yeah, we'll post about it. Yeah, yeah. But, um, my mindset, it's not like my reality and my surroundings haven't really changed. It's just one, I've increased eating food and decreased training, which has made me feel so much better. Yeah. It would again can de- refer back to that in another podcast. Hormones. Yeah. So I'm not living on stress hormones the whole time. Mm-hmm. And two, I've just started to see things better. Your perspective, my perspective has shifted. So Probably I mean, in turn with like putting less pressure on yourself. Yeah. In turn with like, yeah, like taking the stress hormone at my or like lessening that. But like things are like just gone 
are just seeming like they're going super well it's just my perception has changed and my mindset mm. so I guess that in itself is a beauty in the mundane and then all the little things like a beach walk getting to spend our sister our sister Saturdays yeah they're good I like them that is that day um <laughs> getting to honestly eat food is great like even and all the food, sardines and raisins and even pasta. Though, honestly like, and even the food i like, even have like oh, like i said shifted my mindset i'm like when i'm eating my food i'm like this is so delicious nourishing. i'm so like nourished i'm so lucky to eat this and just like eating my food with like trying to do it with more presence and just pure gratitude, gratitude. and just made it so much more enjoyable and stuff so my own mindset and perception shift is in itself a beauty in the mundane and then everything that comes along with it i am really grateful for Woo. beat that bitch crumping <laughs> <laughs> throw it down <laughs> it's gonna be so annoying to listen to <laughs> <laughs> no remember i used to be able to over <laughs> go when i was a youngster Okay, anyway, Orna had a oh, really good beat in the main. Oh, yeah, mundane. <clears throat> this is cute. So, yesterday after we went and checked out that house for a friend, I oh, really yeah. wanted a dying cookie. Oh, nice. I wanted the chubby one. It's called Jermaine. Chocolate Chubby. No. <gasps> the lotus one. Okay, nice, yeah. Have you not had it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The white, white chocolate yeah. and lotus, yeah. So, do you like to me? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they gave me a little rose. Aww. behind the desk they're like happy valentine's day Aww. and they handed me a rose it's just me ordering one cookie and they Aww. like were like a happy valentine's day and they handed me a rose and that was just so sweet in itself i was like oh my god that is the cutest yeah, thing ever nice. the stem was so long i couldn't fit it in my bike yeah but anyways and then came... you're driving home and in your hand and all the petals blow off <laughs> <laughs> no. true story i came out of the shop and then there was a gojek driver i think if you listen you'll know what gojek is it's, it's like, like uber eats. delivery service mm-hmm and he looked at the rose in my hand and he goes, Happy Valentine's Day. It was just so oh, cute. Bless you. I can't. Like, I was yeah. just like, I just felt like my heart just got warm. Like, yeah. fully got warm. And I was yeah. like, that was, they're just two nice people here. They're yeah. Really I was oh, like, bless oh, really. them. Just such a simple, a wholesome, but wholesome moment. Yeah. Put the rose on my bike, chopped off the stem with my boot. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It was going to happen anyway. <laughs> no, and then, yeah, it was just really sweet. That was my beauty in the Monday. And what's really beautiful about that moment is that you went and got a cookie. Oh, yeah, that topped it all off. That, that was really it nice. Off. And it was a white chocolate and lotus Biscoff. Yeah, and I had it with fat a cup cookie. Of, I had it with a cup of tea when I went home. And it was lashing, lashing, lashing in the rain, but I didn't care because I live 0.2 seconds away from yeah, the shop. So it was Yeah, it was, was fine. Fine. Yeah, it was Aww. good. Was that like, did you, after I dropped you off, did you walk back there and go there? No, I went on my bike. It was oh. lashing. I was like, right, I better go now. After you left, it started hammering. Well, down. I only, I just drove into my estate, like, do you have a coffee shop? Oh, wow. And it, it must have been fast. hammered down. I got soaked. Yeah. Proper soaked. Like, yeah. Bali rainy season, eh? That's like today. Eh, you can't beat us. <laughs> <laughs> Mother nature, more oh. like. Mother, Mother nature, you can't just beat it. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway. We're a bit, like I've mentioned, delirious. I don't even know what's going on. Well, I mean, I think for a delirious episode. We're high vibrational. We're high vibrational. Yeah. Hope you get the high I vibes. I think I've been quiet in this episode, but just like observing. Probably because I've just been overpowering as You're per not since, we're, since we're being kids. <laughs> You're not. I think we might mention an episode before, but Orna didn't actually speak until she was two years old. Mm. Because I just spoke for her the whole time. I would just like look at me and my mum would be like, do you want to go to the playground? And I'd be like... I'm closer to me. Sorry, my mom would be like, do you want to go to the playground? And I'd say... She'd look at me and I'd go, yeah, we do. Yeah, and that was it. We were going I'm to like, ma'am, Orna wants a cookie and then I'd take her cookie. <laughs> <with me. laughs> yeah. But um, we are packing up on the episodes, guys. We're recording a good few in a row. Mm. So we got we don't leave you guys without any packing content. Is like finished. Okay, we're not packing up. We're packing in. Pack packing it up. In. Pack it in. What is that? Let me begin. begin. Da, 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 da. Yeah, no, anyway, anyway, we are pre-recording a few episodes so that you guys are left with no because Aileen's not going to be here next week. Yeah, because guys, next week I am going to become a yoga teacher. So that's mm. where I will be for 3 weeks. Up in Ubud. I'm what? <laughs> like, you're lying. I'm like, no, I'm going to be a yoga yes, teacher for cool. three weeks. 
So I'm not going to be one three weeks. I'm going to learn <laughs> how to be one and then be one forever. Yeah. Um, so I'm really excited for that journey. Um, but so I won't be here for three weeks. So we're, we're going to, we're not going to leave guys with no contact, but it's going to be a YouTube video. And then I'm leaving in April. <sighs> Sorry. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. And then we're going to have long, either YouTube way. videos or podcasts up. And then Orna is going home for a visit. A visit, but like a long, well, <laughs> a long six visit, week, six visit. week visit. We're gonna do our best anyway. Okay? And going to you guys just don't worry. That. You guys just don't worry about that. Just sit tight, strap in, <laughs> strap in, have the volume up, strap max. on, <laughs> strap in, strap on. Whatever you're into, day or night, how many times a day, morning or evening, who cares? But um, oh my God. we're not gonna leave you guys without content. Yeah, we'll we do prom. something. We'll we do prom, something. prom. But anyway, we're gonna wrap it up here. Because Orna is, I'm gonna go pro- I'm maybe potentially for a beach I'm not walk. I'm actually hungry because I, I thought just you were had hungry. That's shake. like. Anyway, I'm gonna oh, we're gonna live the rest of our life in the evening now and wind down and for bed in did four you hours. Say we're recording tomorrow. Yeah, we we're recording, but they don't need to know that because they're yeah. gonna listen to it Friday. Happy Friday, by the way. Yeah. Have a beautiful weekend. What date will it be? It will be the and say. 17th. 17th. Yeah. That was pretty good. Happy 17th of February. February already. Only a week left. Yeah. Just no, over. no, no. 10 days. 10 days. 28 days in February this year. Yeah. But anyway, we don't want to bombard you too much with too much overwhelming, <laughs> yeah, overwhelming like information, really, really guys. Sorry. Hectic energy right now. Hectic energy, hectic energy. Okay. Have a beautiful weekend. Have a beautiful Friday, rest of your day, Monday, whatever day you listen to this on. Mm hmm. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Love ya.